All right, let's solve some energy problems. So these ones are specifically things that have springs in them. So this first one, 100 gram ball dropped from a height of 60 centimeters. Uh, it's going to compress the spring to a maximum displacement of 4 centimeters. So we got to start by thinking energy at the beginning, energy at the end. So at the beginning, this thing is starting with gravitational potential. And then at the end, when it squishes that spring, all the gravitational potential is gone, right? So I'm going to call this zero. And that way I can say it's all become elastic potential stored in the spring, right? So my equation would be gravitational potential equals elastic potential. So uh, gravitational is mg delta y equals elastic potential is one half k delta x squared. Okay, so I want to solve for the spring constant, so I can multiply by 2 to get rid of this, right? And then I can divide by the delta x squared, and I'm left with k equals 2mg delta y over delta x squared, right? It always helps to do the algebra first, right? Don't try to just plug in and solve. So let's go look. So, okay, I got numbers that aren't in base units. So I need 100 grams, that's 0.1 kilograms. What else? 60 centimeters. So this is 0.6 meters. And then this one is 4 centimeters, so that's 0 0.04 meters. So let's go plug in and solve. All right, so... Uh, is over here, 2 times the mass, 0.1, times g, 9.8, times the height, points, oh, oh, sneaky, almost got me. So 0.6 is the height, this height, but the total height is going to be all the way down here, so my height's got to be 0.64, right? So from there to there is the sum of these two. Oh, you almost got me. 0.64. I got an extra decimal because I'm not paying attention. And then divide by the compression of the spring squared. So that's 0.04 squared. 784 newtons per meter. That's my spring constant. All right, next one. Block of mass 0.25 kilograms placed on a vertical spring constant. Uh, 5,000 newtons per meter push down, compressing the spring, right? So this is kind of the same thing, except it's starting here, right? And then it says it's pushed down and you compress the spring, right? It helps if you draw these things. And then, like, you don't have to be an artist. Like, I'm not an artist, right? It shoots it up. Continues to leave. What height above the point of release with a block reach of air resistance is negligible? Okay. So really, I'm going between here and here, right? So here... If this thing goes all the way up, that means that the velocity up at the top is going to be zero. So this will all be gravitational. And then here, when I squish that spring, it's all going to be elastic. So this is just the backwards of the first problem. So elastic equals gravitational. So that's one half kx squared equals mg delta y. And I want to solve for the height. So I can just divide the mg over. So uh, delta y is going to equal k delta x squared over 2mg, right? Because I just took the half and I moved the 2 in the denominator, right? Okay, so kilograms, newtons, meters, 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 right? I don't have anything to convert. Nice. I like it when they do that. Okay. So k is 5,000 times, times not divided, uh, the stretch, so 0 0.1 squared, enter, divided by 2 times the mass, which is 0 0.25, times g, which is 9.8, and I get 10.204, right, so we'll call it 10.2, delta y is 10.2 meters, that's fairly high. All right, one more problem. So in an arcade game, a 0.1 kilogram disc is shot across frictionless surface by compressing it, placing a spring, a spring constant of 200. So I'm trying to find the final velocity, right? So I got this thing, and it's squished up against a spring, and then the spring's going to release, and it's going to shoot this thing that way. And 
I want to know how fast that's going. So it's going from elastic potential energy to kinetic, right? Does it say frictionless? Yes, frictionless. Got to check for that. Sometimes they throw you off. So elastic potential turns into kinetic. So one half k x squared equals one half mv squared. And let's go solve. So half is a constant, so I can get rid of that. And then, well, that's nice. All I got to do is divide the m over. So divide the m, and I'm left with v squared, and then I can square root to get rid of that. So v, right, square root. Let's square root that. That goes away. So v equals k delta x squared over m, the square root of all that. All right. Uh, kilograms, newtons per meter, centimeters. You're trying to trick me. So that's 0 0.06 meters. All right, let's solve this. So 200 spring constant times my compression was 6 centimeters, so that's 0 0.06 squared. And then I'm going to divide by the mass. So the mass was 0.1. And then take the square root. And I get 2.68. So 2.68 meters per second. That's my answer. Easy peasy.